policy of what is the policy of Lyft with regard to drivers who are on a who have a medical marijuana card? Anything still falls under the zero tolerance policy. So if there's any suspicion of any drug or alcohol use, then this process that we've just been describing still applies. So you don't accept any drivers who are have a legal medical marijuana card? Not if they're going to be under the influence of marijuana while driving. How do you determine that? Isn't that going to suggest the way? Don't seem to like that suggestion. Commissioner, Michael Willoughby. Of course. As I think we all know here in Nevada, because this is a relatively new issue, we're going to see a lot of legal action on Nevada's either per se laws, it's going to be a minimum level that's going to determine whether a person is impaired, is it going to be a judgment call? So there, I think, will be a lot of law changes and case law coming up for contractors, for employees, and others on the use of medical marijuana. We certainly talk about it in our firm and lots of businesses that we represent and other businesses that I know about have had, are dealing with, do you have a comprehensive policy that deals with whether you're impaired, regardless of whether the substance is legal? Alcohol is legal, but being impaired is not. So it would fall into the same process, I believe, with Lyft, with medical marijuana. If there was a report that you were impaired, we'd do an investigation and determine whether through this investigatory process that was a bona fide complaint and the driver could be removed. So it really is, I think, colorblind, if you will, to whether or not there's a medical marijuana card involved. Impairment is impairment, and if there's a suspicion of that, then the investigation process kicks in. And I'll allow Kelly Kane to correct me if I've misstated anything there. No, thank you. So if a person, I mean, without the drug testing, as Commissioner Saglehide suggested, how do you know if someone's under the influence, even though they have a medical marijuana card? Or if there's an accident, how do you know if that person was impaired or not, unless you do the drug testing? I mean, certainly, as stated, I think, as Ms. Kane stated, we do outreach and we take information from anyone who had been, if there's anyone who was before running with that same driver, obviously the person reporting, if there was anyone after, whatever might happen. You know, I think that certainly there is an opportunity, especially in court. We deal with DUI cases. We spend the vast majority of time talking about the signs and symptoms that it does not take an expert to determine. Sure, there might be a test in any DUI case, but you're going to spend a lot of time taking testimony, even from a police officer that is not focused on the drug test. It's talking about, were that person's eyes red and watery? Were they slurring their speech? Were they responsive to a person? And these are all things that all of us, every day, have the ability to recognize if somebody is impaired. And so we feel like every crime, essentially, is a drug test. Is a test, not just for drugs and alcohol, but also for, is this driver too tired? Are there any other reasons that this person shouldn't be on the platform? And just to clarify, let's say I apply for a job as a Lyft driver and I have a medical marijuana card. Would you hire me? Current policy? So we don't hire all drivers just to clarify. So all of our drivers are independent contractors. So from a hiring perspective, we don't ask that question. So we don't ask whether or not they have a medical marijuana card. We just confirm that they cannot drive under the influence. So our policy is zero tolerance. So no driving under the influence of any kind, whether it's a medical marijuana or alcohol. Okay, thank you. I got a pause around this subject. You don't want to talk about our business decisions?
decision. But again, I don't think drug testing has any relationship to uh, uh, basically a path or to a brick and mortar establishment if you're dealing with insurance that that driver meets certain employ employment standards. Commissioner Michael, 